Okay, so first of all, we need to remember how to draw a coordinate grid. We have a vertical axis and you have a horizontal axis. How do we label the axes? Which one is X and which one is Y? X is always the horizontal axis, so I want you to label it right now. And Y is always the vertical axis. The point where they intersect, what point is that? Zero. The points to the right are positive or negative? Okay, so in your example, it's actually counting by two. So I'm going to label this two, four, six, eight, ten, which means that halfway between zero and two would be one, correct? Yeah. Okay, you can choose your scale, but you have to be consistent. If I'm counting by twos on the x-axis with the numbers to the right, then if I'm labeling the numbers on the left, I can't count by ones. I also have to count by twos. And they're positive or negative on the left? Okay, so we're going to label this negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and so on. <clears throat> Any values above 0 going vertical, are they positive or negative, these values? Okay, so the scale for this can actually be different, but it has to be consistent with the bottom half, okay? So I'm going to just count by 2s again. These are positive, and these are, oops, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative. So if you're given an ordered pair... I'm, the first one is A, three, two. We always read an ordered pair, what? What order? Always, always, always read it X and then Y. Okay, so I want you to, to draw that in. I want you to label that on your paper. So the first number tells us which way to move along the X axis. So we're going to start at zero, right? And I'm going to move three spaces to the left or right? Right. So this is where three is. That's not where my point's going to go, though. I'm moving three spaces to the right. And then y is two. I'm going to, that tells us our vertical move. Am I going to go up or down? Up. So I'm going to go up and stop at two. So that is my point. This is the first point. This is A. Okay. B is 3 and negative 2. Okay, so our x value is the same, so we're going to move 3 to the right, and then now B is negative 2. Sorry, Y is negative 2, so which way do I move on the grid? We're going to go down until we get to negative 2, which is right here. Okay? C is negative 3 and negative 2. And always label it if you forget. X and then Y. X tells you which way to move horizontally. Am I going right or left now for X? Why, why am I going to the left? It's negative. So I'm going to move to negative 3. And then am I going to go up or down to down? So we're going to go down because it's negative 2 to here. And this is point C. Does everyone see that? Okay. And then the last point we're given is negative 3, positive 2. So again, negative 3. Am I going left or right on the x-axis? Left. And am I going up or down 2? We're going to go up 2. And we're going to end up right here. So that is D. Now we're, they're asking us to join the points together, so I'm going to join A, B, C, D. What shape did we draw? A rectangle. Sorry, a square, not a rectangle, a square. It's just because I drew this a little poorly. So in this example, we're given three points. We're given E, F, and G, and we have to figure out what is the ordered pair for each of those points. Okay, and we're also given H. We'll do that one as well. So we have to figure out what is the ordered pair. We need to come up with the coordinate. We know that the coordinate has to be labeled X, Y. So we need to figure out what is the horizontal move, how am I moving horizontally, and then how am I moving vertically, so left and right or up and down. So let's find E. Here's the point, right? Now we're going to start it. We always start at zero, and we're going to move left. 
How many spaces to the left did we move? So I should have done that green. How many spaces to the left before we have to go up? How many spaces to the left did we move? Because we moved three spaces to the left, one, two, three, it's going to be at negative three. And how many spaces up? We have to pay attention to the scale. Each square represents one, positive three. So the first coordinate, the first ordered pair is at negative three, three. Good, so you got negative one, excellent. And positive one, correct. Raise your hand if you got negative one, one, good. G, for G, you got one and Negative one, let's see if you're correct. We move one space to the right and then one space down. Correct. Raise your hand if you got that right. And the last one, H. Positive two and negative two, correct. Okay, now you have to tell me where I am plotting this coordinate. I'm gonna call this, let's call it J, sure. Raise your hand if you can tell me what is the ordered pair for point J. Remember, we have to move horizontally first. Where did I, how far did I move? Yep. Negative five, and then how many spaces up? Positive seven. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you a point and you're gonna plot it on that graph. I would like you to plot this point, we'll call it K, um, 1, negative 5. Can everyone plot the point 1, negative 5? So here is point 1, negative 5. This is K. Okay. 